All of our old friends are back for season three of Picard. The TNG command crew is there. Data's dead, but Brent Spiner made it back, I guess, as lore. Or as one of the other 23 quadrillion characters he's played. And it's time for us to celebrate the ship. We don't get our old friend, the Enterprise, in season three. We may see the Enterprise F at some point, but our hero ship this year is the Titan A, the successor to Riker's ship. Now, we don't know anything about the Titan yet, uh, but we do know a fair bit about its predecessor. And that was not a well-balanced, well-thought-out ship, at least not according to Lower Decks. The Titan in Lower Decks is not a well-balanced ship of exploration. It is not sophisticated. It is the extreme sports edition of a Federation starship. Action, action, action. And that's what we're going to make today, an extreme sports mocktail. Well, well, it's going to be a kid-friendly mocktail, that's for sure. Definitely not dentist recommended, but definitely good. So we're going to make a layered drink this time. And in order to make a layered drink, you want to put the heaviest ingredients on the bottom. So we're going to start by making a blue curacao liquid. Um, we're not making a soda because I don't want the carbonation on the bottom. I want this to stay on the bottom. So we're going to take a half ounce of blue curacao syrup. This is non-alcoholic. Its color does not occur in nature, but I mean, come on, neither does the color in blue curacao. And to that, we're going to add one ounce of water. We give this a stir. And we're going to pour this into the bottom of our glass. Now we're going to fill our glass most of the way with ice. It helps if the ice goes in the glass, but you know, you be you. Okay, looking good. We're also going to take and give this ship a pair of nacelles with a pair of Twizzlers. They're not sponsoring this video, whatever. I just wanted something long and red that I could put on two sides of the glass. Bonus points, if you cut off the ends, you can do what my grandpa taught me and use these as a straw. Um, I find that it doesn't work quite so well in this mocktail, but uh, if you're making this for kids, come on, it's a great idea. Okay, nacelles in place, nacelles in place, we now add one ounce of club soda. And for the next ingredients, I don't want to mix the colors too much, so I'm going to use a spoon to try and slow them down and get them in there as gently as possible. So the next ingredient is going to be two ounces of cranberry juice. That's followed by two ounces of strawberry soda. We're going to end with a blue raspberry soda. This product does exist. You may be able to find it. I couldn't. So I'm going to make it myself. Half an ounce of blue raspberry syrup. and two ounces of club soda. And I'm just going to top this off with a little bit more ice, replace what's melted, and I'm gonna garnish with some pearl candies. 
Now, if you're doing the kid things and cut off the ends, you're done. But I recommend serving this one with a straw. Gently put it in so we don't disturb our layers too much. And there we go. One Titan mocktail. Now, I'm going to be right out and say it. This tastes like candy. Good candy. Delicious candy. It is sweet. It is a little bit sour. Nothing going to make you pucker about it. And it's delicious. This is fun. Not every mocktail needs to be sophisticated and elegant and complex. Sometimes all it has to do to be sippable is delicious. Until next time, I hope you enjoy your adventures in the stars, and I hope you enjoy your adventures with mocktails. We're back to a bit more of a regularly scheduled program with the next video, but I hope you give this one a try. I hope you give this one a try, and definitely enjoy.